Data architecture patterns are high-level, reusable design approaches or solutions for structuring and organizing data within an organization. These patterns are critical for designing data systems that support business needs and enable efficient data management, storage, processing, and analysis. Here are some common data architecture patterns. Batch layer and speed layer. Batch layer. This layer is responsible for processing large volumes of historical data, typically using batch processing frameworks like Hadoop. It is well suited for complex transformations, data cleaning, and aggregations. Speed layer. This layer deals with real-time or near-real-time data processing using stream processing frameworks like Apache Kafka or Apache Flink. It complements the batch layer by handling recent data. Lambda architecture. Combines the batch layer and speed layer into a single architecture. It provides both batch and real-time processing capabilities, enabling consistent and accurate results for data analytics. Data warehousing. A centralized repository for structured data that allows for querying and reporting. Data warehousing architecture patterns include Kimball and Inman, which offer different strategies for data modeling and ETL, extract, transform, load, processes. Data lake architecture. Data lakes store data in its raw form and are not limited to structured data. Data is ingested, cataloged, and can be processed on an as-needed basis. Common technologies used in data lake architectures include Hadoop HDFS and cloud-based solutions like AWS S3 or Azure Data Lake Storage. Event Sourcing This pattern captures changes to data as a series of immutable events. It is commonly used in systems where auditing and traceability are critical, such as financial applications or content management systems. Microservices Architecture in this pattern, data is managed independently by microservices. Each microservice has its data store, which can be a relational database, NoSQL database, or other storage solutions. This pattern promotes scalability and agility. Polyglot persistence. This approach involves using different database technologies for different data needs. For example, Using a relational database for structured data and a NoSQL database for unstructured or semi-structured data. Data virtualization. Data virtualization allows data to be accessed and presented as if it were in a single database or store, even when it is distributed across multiple sources. It abstracts the physical location and format of data. Federated data architecture. In this pattern, data remains in its source system, and a centralized system queries and aggregates data from different sources in real time, providing a unified view. Data Mesh This is an emerging data architecture pattern that emphasizes decentralization and domain-oriented ownership of data. Data Mesh aims to address challenges related to scalability, data discovery, and data product delivery in large organizations. Data governance and security patterns. These patterns focus on implementing data governance and data security measures to ensure data quality, compliance, and protection. Patterns include data lineage, access control, encryption, and auditing. Data integration patterns. These patterns deal with connecting and integrating data from various sources. Patterns like extract, transform, load, ETL, change data capture, CDC, and data synchronization fall under this category. These data architecture patterns can be combined or adapted to suit the specific needs and requirements of an organization's data environment. The choice of patterns depends on factors such as data volume, velocity, variety, business objectives, and the technology stack in use. Effective data architecture patterns support data-driven decision-making and enable organizations to derive valuable insights from their data assets.